One of the best plays in Madden 23 is Flood. I don't know if you've heard of Flood, but it's out of bunch. We're going to be looking at Washington's offensive playbook today. And if you want to get my full Washington offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. It's going to get you access to all, and I mean all, of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our Washington offensive ebook that goes into depth not only on bunch, but tight, you, or, uh, tight bunch open tight end, as well as we're working on updating it with some empty bunch stuff. But if you haven't heard of Flood yet, it was a play that was added into Madden. Uh, I'm pretty sure in Madden 21, and this is one of the best passing plays in the game for really two reasons. Number one, it's just a great concept. But number two, it has a unique flat route within it that is going to really help you beat the blitz. And it's going to help you attack man coverage, specifically from dollar type of looks, which is the current meta. So we're going to show you a really good setup out of Flood that's going to beat the blitz, uh, beat man coverage consistently, and really space the field for your offense. All right, guys, so the play is Flood. We're in Washington Playbook, and we're taking a look here, and uh, the setup is very simple. What we're going to do is you do need Slot Apprentice for this. A lot of people at this point in the year have Hot Route Master or Slot Apprentice. Um, if you don't want to use Slot Apprentice, then you can just put him on a Smart Routed In Route. But what we're going to do is we're going to block our running back so we can set up some protection here, however we want to set up the protection. And then we're going to drag our solo receiver, and we're going to post our... Uh, slot receiver. What this is going to do is it's going to create a shallow cross concept in the middle of the field where the opponent is going to have to respect the fact that we can throw the post or the drag and then it's going to have this really good uh, flat route. Now you see how this flat route is going to pull zones out and we can just simply throw the ball right in that little pocket. Now if you wanted to put the running back on a route, I would recommend a drag route and the reason why is because or I'm sorry, a wheel route. And the reason why is because in the case that they do run some zone coverage, you'll be able to throw this little post right in a soft spot um, against the zone where only your receiver can catch it. This play is really designed to beat man coverage more so than zone coverage, um, but we're going to show you some stuff against zone as well. So again, same exact setup here with the without the running back wheel. I want you to look to the right side. If they're not playing hard flats, you can throw this tight end flat route. And you see how it gives you a really good rack animation upfield where your tight end can actually catch the ball and run with it to make that flat a legitimate threat to either go for 5, 10 yards, maybe even a touchdown, depending on how they're playing defense. You'll see this a lot in the uh, dollar meta defense where we're going to try to play basically a, a cloud flat or something like that on the right. What you want to do is you want to always peek at this flat route. If you can throw this flat route, throw it. Take the flat route and then get upfield and get your yardage. That flat route will force them to have to adjust and they're going to have to play hard flats over there, um, which will open up the rest of your offense. Now, if they run cover two, I think that this play is really, really well equipped to attack cover two. We have the flat routes at the tight end, of course. And then we also have this shallow cross concept where you're going to see here that this drag is going to get open right there. And then your post is going to get open to the sideline over in that area. Now, as I said in the beginning, this play is really specifically designed to really give uh, any kind of man blitz a really hard time. You're going to see here, this is kind of a default spinner uh, setup right here, this very popular little defense and they're gonna use her kind of in this area. So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna be peeking the tight end. I'm gonna look at that tight end quickly, and if I see that there's no defender going to the tight end quick, I'm going to be throwing the ball. So I'm gonna see here, no defender going to him. I'm gonna high ball, pass lead outside, and then a lot of times you're gonna get into a tackle battle just like this, and you're gonna get a field for about 10 to 15 yards. This forces them to have to do um, the next adjustment, which is to come out in some type of man coverage and they're going to basically have to shade their coverage. Um, they're going to have to shade it underneath. And what's going to happen is you'll see here with the shade is the shade will leave the post wide open. Um, it sometimes can leave this glitchy fade open. You will see they will play the out route or the, the flat route better. But there's a lot of things that they will play worse um, in a shaded down scenario. So again, I'm going to just set up my coverage and set up some pressure uh, as well with this. And if you just take a look here on the right side, you're going to notice that, you know, typically we're going to be able to pick up the blitz as well because we have our running back blocked. Um, That's the best way to pick up the blitz. And then you see the post, the post was wide open over the middle of the field. Obviously, we threw one of those patented D-line picks thanks to the good old uh, practice mode sheds that are just absolutely incredible. But you see that the tight end, when they cover the tight end and shade underneath man, 
then it's going to leave other things open. That's a big thing I wanted to get across, is when they do cover the tight end, they're going to have trouble uh, defending everything else you can do in this play. This fade will sometimes get open against Shaded Down Man. It doesn't always get open, but it will sometimes. But the main route is that post. As you see, it is very, very effective for Shaded Underneath Man coverage. So really, they're kind of left in this dilemma, and a lot of times what you'll see people do um, is they will start to drop additional zones over on the bunch side to try to basically you know get a stop and essentially it's going to leave them in the middle of the field where they're going to basically be isolated we're going to isolate their user and their user is going to have to choose am i going to go guard the post and leave the drag or am i going to guard the drag and leave that post route wide open over on that sideline this play is one of the best plays in the entire game especially for attacking man coverage man blitzes zone blitzes very very effective the play flood it's one of my favorite plays in the game and it's one of the best plays in the washington bunch now if you want to learn the rest of the washington bunch make sure you're in the patreon uh just for ten dollars you'll get access to everything you can sign up at the link in the description you're gonna get access to over 20 ebooks by becoming a member today again it's only 10 bucks to sign up and if you want to sign up head down to the description of the video and click the link down below